Okay, it's Sunday. Unfortunately for me, I believed the weather guys, and uh, they said it was going to rain today, so I didn't do uh, the market I planned to do, which was going to be fanwood. But I went to the metal ranch yesterday, so that should have made up the difference. I probably would have made about the same amount of money. So anyway, um, we didn't finish at fanwood wood, uh, fan till about 10 o'clock, and um, then we didn't really get out to, to hit any yard sales till about 11. So with the iffy weather, there weren't really many around. Um, we probably went to about five or six altogether, and this is what we found. Um, spent $24. The best stuff we got was at a, an estate sale, uh, surprisingly. It was the end of the estate sale, and um, they had some jewelry that they were that didn't sell. So the wife went through it, and um, that's the best right there. That's uh, a 14 karat gold, and then these are also 14 karat gold, these small pieces. Small earrings and a small chain and these earrings which are actually kind of nice you can try and sell those they have like a there they have a white stone in there i don't know if you could see it i'm not going to take this out of the um, bag because the chain opened and everything fell off of it but this is actually really very light but uh, they gave us all the jewelry for 15 dollars, so that's a great deal um here's some of the other stuff she got um, these are those made in spain this is a uh, jewelry. This is um, Toledo. Earrings and a matching pendant. Okay. Then she got uh, some enamel earrings. They're just nice. A little flower. Here's a pretty cool abalone shell bracelet. Uh, again, all $15. These are sterling silver. These are also sterling silver. It looks like a shell design. Little shells. Here's a gold tone bracelet. My wife likes this stuff. She thought some of these, uh, and these, she thought this might have been gold, so she just kind of didn't want to like make a big deal looking at stuff. She just grabbed stuff she thought was interesting. And same for these, these aren't gold. Um, this chain is gold filled. Um, this is a necklace, just like, uh, who said, there's a name on it. This is a Trafari necklace. Okay, kind of nice, nothing special. Here's these enamel. Um, pendants. She usually gets about eight dollars for this, but when she made the bundle, the lady said, "Again, fifteen for that's fifteen, right? Did I say fifteen? No, yeah, fifteen for everything." Uh, she got a little articulated fish, and then this piece of jewelry she got at a different sale, uh, and this is a necklace. Actually, it might be a belt, but she's going to use it probably as a necklace for this big pendant shot. Best find today was the gold. Um, not being able to do the the fair and not being able to go to a bunch of sales and find a bunch of great stuff this helps soften the blow I don't know I imagine there's at least a hundred or so in gold there at the same estate sale I got these three CDs um, Tony Bennett duets Barry Manilow greatest love songs of the 70s and the very best uh, my way the best of Frank Sinatra three dollars I'm gonna put those in my five four for uh, uh, three for ten deal and then another sale well actually I'll do that then the only other sale where we found stuff that wasn't cancelled I bought these two bowls um, blue means 50 cents so that was 50 cents these are just nice looking glass bowls and this is 25 cents um, actually everything just came to eight dollars and I included this um, I bought a Huey Lewis and the News CD I don't know if you remember him he was big in the 80s um, then I got these a uh, sealed Brothers Grimm DVD. I don't know if that makes it worth more money or not. If it's worth like 10 bucks, I'll let my friend list it. You know. And I got a Ghostbusters 2. The original. Bill Murray, Harold Ramis, Dan Aykroyd, Rick Moranis, and Sigourney Weaver DVD. Um, got these four games. They're in relatively good condition. They were like a buck a piece. So if I need the covers, I mean, I, I'll put them out. Uh, I'm, I've made like a four dollar three for ten thing, so most of these games are probably worth four or whatever. This one's a hard to sell game, but it's probably a great play, a great game to play. I mean, I, I've checked the beginning of it and I played it for a few minutes just to test them, but I've never actually played them because uh, you know I have other games to play. But that's it. Uh, Sunday. I don't think that's all I'm going to get this week, and because. I'm holding, someone's holding some games and stuff that I bought from someone else, and I just haven't gone through them. I have to pick them up for them. And then someone's contacted me from a business card that I gave out, and I'm going to get some wrestlers. And then, um, let's see. And then someone else 
Uh, I might have games for me. I got to check him during the week. But Sunday, that's what I got today.